so we have pretty much the same story like with Rune Smaggers. We're now on the Steam VR, not on the Rift version. There has to be something that I'm missing that the developers don't decide to put a cross by version on the Rift store for the quest release. I guess it is that after all, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so far that I have noticed, the graphics are not really that different from the quest version, which it just means it's a great port of the game, so let's see. Accept the offer that I'm going with him. The governor's right. Your storm-battered vessel is headed to the bottom of the ocean. It seems the scoundrels have no choice but to bring their precious treasure aboard the sunfish. Excellent, says the governor. Take the cabin next to mine. When we get to Half Arch, you shall be properly rewarded for your bravery. Half Arch, capital and largest city of the Crown Islands. Home to fishers, traders, smugglers, artisans, privateers, and scoundrels. Who's there? Come with me. Insists Solomon Sanko, the governor is determined to make good on his promise. Later that day, after a feast in his estate, the governor surprises the scoundrels with something they never thought they'd experience. Fame and glory. All hail the heroes of Half Arch. Thomas Turlinger, brilliant apothecary dedicated to helping others. This is Hammer, warrior of true conviction and strength. <laughs> Nuna the Wise, who protects us with mysterious powers. Unfortunately, our heroes can't stay for long. So let's drink in their honor. Without further ado, let us begin the Heroes Celebration. Wait, but we didn't do anything. <laughs> we literally just steal the treasure and stuff like that. I mean, oh, we saved the mayor. All right, that's fair. It's so interesting that the gameplay is like fluid. There are no cutscenes or, or just no transitions. One board. One word. <laughs> well, I'm still missing the fourth <laughs> scandal. <laughs> I hope you had a pleasant evening. The heroes of Half Arch are always welcome in this city, says the governor before he's called back into the hall. After a round of farewells, the scoundrels slip away. Though they've lost one of their number, they've gained a second chance. They agree to split the treasure equally and go their separate ways. Really? Oh, leveling up, okay. So I'll gladly start with Hammer. I really like his skills. Time for your award. Choose a new ability and it's yours. I'm assuming we can pick only one card and then it's gonna like follow us up until the end of the game. He's a very good warrior, though I have no one to like clean the debuffs, so I think this one is gonna be fine in the long run. The hammer shoves a few bars of solid gold into her rucksack before leaving Half Arch. She doesn't know what her future holds, but she's never been one for making plans. Oh, it's a she? Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm a misogynist. <laughs> Thomas, however, how I realized it's like a tank. You'll see later in the gameplay, he can heal up to like 10 HP, which is crazy. I think with him, we'll stay as kind of like a control healer tank. Thomas appraises the treasure with a keen eye, weighing his <laughs> options before scooping several stacks of coins into pouches and leaving half arch. Oh, a salmon? Hell yeah. Choosing a deceptively humble pouch of precious gems, Nuna slips the treasure inside her sleeve before leaving, hopefully to a remote, peaceful island. And with that, the treasure chest is empty, and our scoundrels... Oh, I mean, heroes <laughs> go their separate ways, vowing to put their scoundrel days behind them. And they did. Well... At least, for some time. <laughs> I 
Endless Storm? Why <laughs> I still don't regret that I threw the, like, play dancer or whatever, not even. Seven years later. Oh, damn. Seven years is a long time. Long enough to build a whole new, quieter life. Tonight the scoundrels returned to Half Arch for the first time since that day. Over here! It's Governor Sanko. Quickly, we may be watched. A figure darts from the shadows and stabs the governor! What? This is very bad. You must find out why the governor summoned you. Assassin. That's it. <laughs> I help the governor. Well, I think it's too late. The governor is barely conscious and gravely wounded. Your scoundrel tends to him as best they can. A city watch patrol. This is not good timing. More city watch. They must have heard something while on guard duty on the West Dock. That's not good either. And then there's the governor's mysterious assailant. They're getting away. Three problems. And only two of you left. Make a choice, quick! Oh, I'm just gonna go after the assassin, though I don't have finesse per se. She's all rounder though, no? Okay. Your scoundrel will have to be fast to chase down the assassin before they get away. It's only two stars, come on. Your wow. scoundrel darts forward, but the assassin is too fast! You hear noises from the East Docks, but you'll have to deal with the City Watch before investigating. I mean, okay. <laughs> Perhaps your scoundrel can talk the officers into heading back to their post before they spot the governor's body. Wait. One, one, two. Whoa. Your scoundrel acts drunk and begins a long, boring story about tripping over crates. The guards make excuses and leave quickly. Your scoundrel watches them go, noticing they are guarding a ship on the west docks. The governor coughs awake. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought if you were going to kill me, Hammer, you'd do it with your own hands. Oh, yes, I know about your past, about all of you, and soon everyone else will too. And he takes his last ragged breaths. A quick search of the governor turns up a map of the islands with several locations marked, each one horribly familiar to one of the scoundrels. No time to wonder what the governor's words or map mean. The City Watch have seen the scoundrels with his dead body. You'll have to fight them off. Ah, easy. <clears throat> My gameplay will be relatively fast now. Because I know what to do and stuff like that. Let's try it. <laughs> Only three HP. Also,
Okay, one turn of the debuff. One extra body on the battlefield, so it's always good for me. That's a very nice skill. We're playing on the challenging difficulty. It doesn't seem challenging so far, but that's another story. You fought off the watch, but it's only a matter of time before more come to investigate the commotion. You need to get out of Half Arch, and that means you need a ship. At the East Docks is the Governor's ship, the Sunfish. He doesn't need it anymore. But there are plenty across the Crown who'll recognize it, for good or ill. And it's where that assassin went. The scoundrels don't recognize the ship at the West Docks. The guard probably means captured pirate or smuggler. Maybe good for laying low, but who knows who owns it. Whichever one you're going to take, now's the time to choose. Ah, I think I'll just make it harder for myself. <laughs> the sunfish has been restored to its former glory since the storm seven years ago. Captain Starling is still in command, or should be. Instead, he slumped against those crates. Unconscious. <laughs> the assassin is here and has friends. No time for niceties. These assassins mean business. Maybe Starling can help you if you can bring him round. What's this statistic? Oh, intellect. I mean, I can certainly try. That's a lot of stars, though. Wait, the rest went... Starling stirs. He's waking up, but needs some more help to get back on his feet. Keep trying. Okay. Captain Starling stands groggily. You. Thanks for your help, again. Let's deal with these gallows, monkeys. Uh, then we'll talk. Oh, wow. Holy hell. <laughs> well, Captain's dead. It's like sharing the damage. Why do you attack me? Useless. Oh my god. There has to be something in the description. <laughs> Unknown, yeah. Thanks.
sure. Okay, so here's how it works. Booster shot three times on him. See, like that's crazy. That was what I meant about just OP spells and stuff. Maybe the summon attacks like the closest thing or whatever. The last of the robed figures vanishes in a bolt of lightning just like the others. The sunfish is yours for the taking, but the mystery has only deepened. Starling wants <laughs> answers. Is the governor safe? He was supposed to be meeting with you. The scoundrels explain what happened and that they need a ship to find the killers and clear their names. Oh, I should have known something was wrong. That's twice I've failed to protect Governor Sanko. Come on, the watch won't be far away. Set sail. We have a fair wind. Lose the top sails. I'll see this through with you. I need to bring his killers to justice, and besides, you need a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> 